So I was in final year in school and I was going through a very, very tough time. I was having a very, very tough season in school. You know that period when everything is on your head and you have so much heaviness and issues and wahala. So I was, I was, I was, I was going through it. I had it, it was happening to me. And that day I was in my room and I was just crying. I was crying and I've always believed God, you know. So I wasn't crying out of unbelief, I was just tired. So I remember I was wailing, like weeping and God, my heart was heavy, I was crying. And in the middle of my crying, I got a call and it was from my younger sister and I picked the call and I just said hello and she just started talking. God asked me to call you. God said I should tell you that he has seen your tears, that he is with you, that he loves you, he's going to take care of you, he's going to do da da da. And she kept talking and prophesying and speaking to me. And while she was talking, the heaviness, the weight, the pain, the everything just lifted and, you know, and she finished talking and she just said, I love you. And she caught the call and I couldn't cry anymore. It wasn't just what she said. It was the intentionality of God for me. It was the moment. It was that time I needed to hear those words. It was in the, and how, how God is so intentional about what, how, how, how God, you know, sent her to call me that very moment when I needed that comfort. I don't know if anybody has had that experience before when, you know, at the very moment when you need the word or you need the encouragement, someone, somehow, stranger, it doesn't matter, just calls you and, you know, you get the exact word that you need. I think this video is someone's cue that God sees you. There's a name of God that people call him recently and it's called El Roy, the God who sees me. I need you to know that you're not just happening. You're like you're just happening and then when you cry to God or you bang on the gate of heaven, then he, ah, my child, my child, what can I do for you? No, that's not your father. God sees you. He's in the journey with you. He says when you go through the fire and when you go through the waters, so I will be with you. The fire will not burn you. The waters will not overflow you. I will be with you. So when, not if, everybody goes through one thing at one point, at some point. And I'm not trying to glorify suffering or issues or problems. I'm just saying it happens. But when you go through, you're not alone. The fourth man is in the fire with you. And the beautiful thing about God being with us is that we come out on the other side and not even the smell of smoke is on our bodies. We do not look like what we have been through. Not just that we're trying to pretend. When God helps you, he helps you thoroughly. He helps you truly. And you would know that God has helped you. So this is somebody's word today. God is intentional about you. God sees you, Elroy, the God who sees you. He will send you help exactly when you need it. There's a psalm that says God is our very present help. He's not just a helper, he's present. Not just present, very present. In the nick of time, the very moment when you need it, this is your word, you will not drown. The fire will not burn you out. God sees you, God is with you. You may not have had a supernatural sign, maybe like me, but this is your supernatural sign that God sees you. God is intentional about you. Don't lose hope. Don't give up. Don't start doubting and worrying. Just stay in faith. Stay in faith. God is with you. God loves you. And I love you.